Today we are cross-country skiing with the University of Utah's Outdoor Adventure Program. More on that coming up. We'll have all the information on how you students can receive assistance from the University of Fighting their taxes. I'm Emily Cruz. And I'm Andrew Callinger. Welcome back to a new semester of Newsbreak. The University of Utah currently does not have a program. There are some new developments happening here on campus. You gotta say Somebody wants to Break. The University of Utah currently does not have an official program for students suffering from drug and alcohol abuse. Marky McLean has a story. I spoke with the Student Wellness Center about what they can do for students recovering from drug and alcohol abuse. They told me that they don't have anything specifically on campus for those students, but they can refer them to counselors who then refer them to AA meetings and drug clinics all around the Salt Lake Valley. What the University of Utah offers for people in recovery is not enough and I personally would like to see more happen. I'm actually, um, I'm in conversations with people about starting a collegiate recovery community on campus. At, other than the University Counseling Center, I don't think there's really any other um, like programs or places where people in recovery can go. So I think it would be wildly beneficial to start this on campus and have kind of this safe haven for people in recovery to come hang out, um, talk about what's going on in school, be able to have that camaraderie and that spirit and unity so we can all kind of help each other navigate school. The Student Wellness Center is located right here at the new Student Life Center on the second floor. They help students with everything from sleep to healthy relationship advice. However, studies have shown that every one in four college students suffers from alcohol or substance abuse during their college years. With it being such a large number of students on every camp college campus, it's clearly an issue to not have a support group right here on campus helping them get through their recovery and whatever else they need. Reporting for Newsbreak, I'm Marquis McLean. Newsbreak reporter Lena Palmer covered the recently held Clean Air No Excuses rally at the Salt Lake Capitol where you students and community activists voiced their opinion on Salt Lake City's air quality. Here is the story. Hundreds of clean air activists gathered at the Utah State Capitol for the second annual Clean Air No Excuses rally on Saturday, January 31st, where several people, including Dr. Brian Monch, voiced their opinions in front of the crowd. Air pollution is unhealthy, period, for everybody in any amount. They expressed that their goal for the demonstration was to encourage legislators to pursue changes in Utah's air quality more swiftly. This is what Hetty, a student at the University of Utah, had to say. In Utah, um, so bad can't breathe. I have um, getting really bad asthma since I moved to Utah because of it, and it's they need to do something about it. Dr. Logan Mitchell from the University of Utah explained that he and a team of people installed a device on the top of trains to measure the air quality throughout the valley. We want to be able to give legislators the most scientifically comprehensive and accurate information so that when they say, hey, we'd like to address this problem, they know the most effective and most cost effective and in terms of efficacy, um, what is going to improve health the most? You know, what are the actions they can take that will be most effective? We are here on a hill above the state capitol building where the rally was being held. From here you can look down into the valley and see a layer of smog, a visual indicator of the air quality that people are fighting for. This is Lena Palmer with Newsbreak. Alex Weiss in the studio with Anna House from Personal Money Management Center to discuss how you students can receive assistance with filing their taxes this year. Over to you, Alex. All right, thank you, Emily. And we do have Ann House in studio right now to discuss taxes. And it's that time of season. Students got W-2s in their hands. What is the biggest worry that you see with students when they're, when they're filing taxes? 
Well, finances, I think, in general are pretty stressful. And so when tax season comes around, it's like, okay, now I've got to deal with it, you know. Sometimes you can just put off dealing with finances, but not when it comes to tax time. And I hear that this is also open to staff, right? It's also open to staff. What we are is a certified VITA site, Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Site. So anyone making under $60,000 a year is qualified to come in and have their taxes done through my center. So it's certainly open to to students, international students, and staff. And what we're doing this year, a little bit different from years in the past, we're doing a virtual VITA site this year. We are an uh, intake site, so you will fill out your information, give us your W-2s, give us your other tax forms, sign a consent form. Uh, we send it off, have a certified IRS tax preparer prepare the taxes and then it comes back to us in about two weeks and then we call you up and say your taxes are ready to be done come into our center and pick it up mail it off and uh, taxes are done and, and get your money right get All your money, money. get your so, money back um, a lot of students too I think that there's a lot of money out there that students don't know that they're they're entitled to um, and so what are some credits or what are some things that students should be looking on taxes to make sure they get all the money okay. that they're guaranteed well make sure that you bring us all of those w-2s that you bring us your 1099s 1098 and usually it'll come to you in in a in the mail and it'll say important tax information Information on. Um, if you're not sure, bring it in anyway, and we'll send it off to the tax preparers. Uh, students can qualify for um, the American Opportunity Tax Credits if they've paid for any money out of their own pocket for school. Great. Maybe there's some tax credits. If your staff um, earned income tax credits. Okay, great. Um, so real quick, um, how do they get a hold of the Personal Money Management Center website and mm -hmm. where are you guys located? Okay, our website is personal personal-money-management.utah.edu. Uh, we are at the University of Utah in the Student Union Building. We're right. on that quirky little third floor. Great. Come in anytime, Monday through Friday, between 8 and 5. We'll help you get your taxes done. Great. Ann House, thank you for joining us. The University of Utah's Outdoor Adventure Program offers fun excursions to students all year long. More on that coming up. Is it your lifelong dream to be a media mogul? Do you see yourself as a news anchor or working behind the scenes in video production, even as a journalist? Look no further and see what the communication department can do for you. Get creative and get inspired by taking classes like video production, news break, TV journalism, photography, and many more classes to prepare you for a rewarding career in media. Go online to communication.utah.edu, check out the courses, and start following your dreams. I recently spoke with the U.S. Police Department to hear how students can avoid vehicle theft and burglaries on our campus. University of Utah Police Sergeant Garth Smith says vehicle theft on campus is a planned and focused crime. Vehicle thefts, they tend to uh, focus on certain types of cars. Smith says one specific type of vehicle is a common target for car theft. You'll notice a lot of Honda Civics, Honda Accords uh, that are targeted for theft. While thefts are most common, a lack of awareness from drivers can also lead to vehicle burglaries. Those tend to be more what's in the vehicle. Uh, people leaving their laptop on the front seat, people leaving a bag in the back seat. UPD says that those crimes are easy to avoid by just being prepared. Those are easily preventable for the vehicle burglaries just by securing your stuff. Put it in the trunk before you come park in that parking lot. Um, keep things out of view, because if they're walking by and they see something that's interesting to them, uh, that's when they break windows and take it. Be vigilant to keep yourself safe from crime by going to www crimereports.com reporting for Newsbreak I'm Andrew Callinger soon to be college graduates got a head start on landing their dream job at the U's annual career fair Sorry, 
Coordinated by Career Services, the Career Fair is held each spring in hopes of getting students to start thinking about their next step after graduation. This year, a record number of employers were on hand to recruit and talk with students. So the Career Fair is one of those, those events that helps make those connections. So connecting the students with the organizations that are hiring students um, to work for them after. Career Services offers workshops and counseling throughout the semester. For more information, students are encouraged to visit the Career Services website at careers.utah.edu. For as little as $10, you students can sign up for one of many day trips offered by the U's Outdoor Adventure Program. Daryl Lindsay has the details. The University of Utah is within a day's drive of 10 national parks and is only minutes from some of the best skiing and snowboarding runs in the country. The Outdoor Adventure Program at the University of Utah works to connect students with opportunities to get out and explore. Outdoor Adventure alone has provided me some of the greatest friendships, memories, and um, experiences in college. The program first began as the Ute Alpine Club in 1954, run by adventure-loving students who organized their own expeditions in the Utah mountains. In 1976, the club expanded to become what it is today, a not-for-profit program offering equipment rentals and affordable adventure experiences to all students. Over spring break alone, we're offering a week-long backpacking trip, a week-long rafting trip, and a mountain biking trip. Everything is all-inclusive. The leaders are awesome, and the people are even more amazing. Trips are led and organized by students and are offered year-round, with day trips costing as little as $10 per person. On longer trips, students set up their own tents, cook their own meals, and provide their own entertainment. The Outdoor Adventure Program is located in the Student Life Center here at the University of Utah. Students can stop by during facility hours to sign up for trips and rent out equipment like snowboards and skis. Reporting for Newsbreak, I'm Daryl Lindsay. I'm Emily Cruz. And I'm Andrew Callinger. Thanks for watching Newsbreak.